Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable elephants, Ellie and Elvin, and they even stand by themselves. So grab your four millimeter crochet hook and let's get started. So we're going to begin by making the legs. So start by making a magic ring. And then you're going to do six single crochets inside the ring. For the next round, you're going to increase all the way around or do two single crochets in every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. The next thing, the next um, row is going to change direction. So instead of it being flat, it's going to go up now. So to do that, what you're going to do is do 12 single crochets. And instead of doing it in both V's, like you would normally do, you're only going to do it in the back V, closest to the back side. So you're going to do a single crochet in every single stitch all the way around in the back loop only. In the next round, you're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch in both loops all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. Begin your next round by decreasing. So to do this, you're going to go in the front loop and grab the front loop there and so the next two stitches and wrap around and go through all three loops on your hook. That's a decrease. Then you're going to do four single crochets And now you're going to repeat that. So decrease again, followed by four single crochets, and you'll end off the round with 10 single crochets. Now for the next three rounds, you're going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 10 single crochets. So the last row we just did was just to cinch in the paw a bit and make the foot a bit more defined from the leg. So this is what your leg should look like at the end. And to end, you're just going to slip stitch and then cut your yarn. And you don't have to cut a super long tail because we're actually going to sew all the legs on by simply using the string that we, the tail from the body. So go ahead and make three more of these legs for a total of four. And what you're going to do is just string this string so that there's like no end. And the end is now on the inside. And then you can actually just stuff this tail inside and later we'll sew the leg onto our body. So to make the body, you're just going to make a magic ring once again. And this time you're going to put eight single crochets inside the ring. So for round two, you're just going to increase all the way around. So do two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 16 single crochets. Begin round three by increasing. Um, so once you do your first stitch, it can be helpful to use a stitch marker or a paper clip just so you don't have to count and lose count. So two single crochets in your first stitch, then in your next two, no, sorry, in your next stitch, you're just going to do one single crochet and then repeat that. So increase single crochet, increase single crochet, all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. Begin your next round by increasing. So do two single crochets in one stitch. That's an increase. And then in your next two stitches, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch, just regular, and repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 32 single crochets. So begin your next round with a decrease. So just a reminder, to decrease, you go under the front loop of two stitches and pull through all three loops on your hook. 
keep your stitch marker in if you're using one. And now you're going to do 14 single crochets. So as you can see, now I'm halfway across from where I started and I'm going to repeat that. And this just cinches your elephant's body in at both sides. So decrease followed by 14 single crochets. And at the end of this round, you'll end up with 30 single crochets. For the next round, it's something very similar. So we're going to decrease to begin and then do 13 regular single crochets. Just put my stitch marker in, there we go. So after you decrease, do 13 single crochets, and then you're going to repeat that once you get to the other side of the elephant, and you'll end up with a total of 28 single crochets. Now for the next four rounds, you're going to single crochet all the way around, for a total of 28 single crochets. So you're going to begin your next round by doing six single crochets. It's important to grab a stitch marker here. Next, you're going to do two decreases. followed by six single crochets. So now we're halfway across your elephant again, and that's going to be the bottom side because it's going to be flatter. Now to get to the top, you're going to do five single crochets. And then you're going to do two increases. So two single crochets in the sixth and seventh stitch and to get back to your stitch marker, you're going to do your five single crochets. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 28 stitches once again. Now for the next two rounds, you're just going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 28 single crochets. So you can see your elephant body is starting to take shape here. Um, for your next round, now we're decreasing. So you're going to decrease and then do two single crochets. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 21 single crochets. So your next round, you're just going to decrease and then single crochet and repeat this pattern all the way around for a total of 14 single crochets. So next, you can pull out your crochet hook, make sure the loop is pretty big so it doesn't come undone, and you can start adding in your stuffing. So make sure when you're adding it in to just rip it up into smaller pieces to make sure that it takes the shape of the piece we just crocheted. So to end off your elephant body, what you're going to do is seven decreases. So this is what my elephant body looks like. This is going to be the top and this part the bottom that's sort of shorter. Um, and now you're going to cut a really long tail. And when I mean really long, I mean really long. Because what we're going to do is we're going to sew in all four legs using the same string and sew this hole closed using this same string. So you need to make sure it's really long. So now what we're going to do is um, go into your first stitch, which is here. Those two are the two, a part of our final decrease. So go into every single um, front, or I guess it would be the front loop, all the way around. So you should end up with seven pieces. You can normally only do two or three at a time. 
but that's what I do. So go underneath them. So underneath, underneath, like so. So now I've gone through five, or yeah, five. So I have two more to go through. Like so, piece there, piece there. And once you've done all that, then you're ready to pull closed. So pull. And as you can see, there's no hole there anymore. So now what you're going to do is poke in the middle of that and poke out. Remember how I said the short side like is the bottom? So you're going to poke out the bottom into really any spot. So I'll just poke out there. And you're not going to cut this really long string that we cut for a good reason um, because this will be used to sew on our legs in just a minute. So next let's make the elephant head before we sew on the legs. This way we can sew the head on proportionate to the legs. So begin by making a magic ring and then do six single crochets inside the ring. Next you're going to increase all the way around. So do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. For round three, you're going to increase in your first single crochet. You may want to use a stitch marker. Right now the head's not complicated, but it does get more complicated. So increase or do two single crochets in your first stitch. And then in your second stitch, you're going to just do a regular single crochet. You're going to repeat this pattern of increasing and then a single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Now for the next three rounds, you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets. Begin your seventh round with three single crochets. You'll definitely want a stitch marker from this point forward as we start to get into the trunk and the more difficult part of this project. Now, after those three regular single crochets, in the next three stitches, you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch or do three increases. There we go. And that sort of starts paving the way for your trunk. And now to get back to your stitch marker at the other side, you're going to do 12 single crochets. And at the end of this round, you'll end up with 21 single crochets. Begin your eighth round by doing 13 single crochets. This gets you all the way around about till halfway across your creation. Next, you're going to do three decreases in the back loop only. So in this back side, you're going to pull the back loop, two back loops, and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now you're gonna see some stitches on the outside and that's absolutely fine. That's what we're going for and that'll help us, this is the back of the elephant's head, so that'll help us have some stitches to sew on and just contribute to the shape. So three decreases and end your row with two single crochets. And I'm back to the beginning and now I have a total of 18 single crochets. And you can see that's what the back of the head looks like. Begin your next round by doing 11 single crochets. So you can see I'm back to the back of the head again, and again, you're going to do three decreases, but this time just regular decreases, grabbing the front loop only. And to end off this round, 
There's one stitch left and we're just going to do one single crochet there. Oops. And now you should have a total of 15 single crochets. So begin your next round by doing three single crochets. And this gets you to the trunk part, which we're going to start making look more like a trunk. So next you're going to do three increases or two, cro two, two single crochets in the same stitch as an increase. And now you're just going to do three single crochets. And now we're back to the back of the elephant again. And once again, you're going to do three decreases just with the front loop only. Oops. And that should get you to the end of the round and you should have a total of 15 single crochets. Begin your next round by doing two decreases. And again, these are only in the front loop. So one decrease, put in your stitch marker. It's really important for the trunk. Two decreases, then you're going to do one single crochet, followed by three increases. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay. Next, you're going to do one single crochet. And to end off the round, you're going to do three decreases. And by the end of this round, you should have a total of 13 single crochets. Next, you're going to do two decreases. Followed by five single crochets. And then you're going to do two decreases to end off the round. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of nine single crochets. At this point, you might want to start stuffing your elephant head. So just pull your crochet hook out and grab a piece of stuffing and stuff it in there. In the next round, you're going to begin by decreasing. Then insert your stitch marker. Then you're going to do five single crochets. And you have two stitches left and you're just going to decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of seven single crochets. Finally, we're just, we just have a simple round. So you're just going to single crochet. Oops. Make sure to get under both parts of the V. It's a little hard. So single crochet all the way around once again, for a total of seven single crochets. 
you can see this trunk is definitely starting to sh take shape here. For your next round, you're just going to begin by decreasing. Followed by two single crochets. Now we're at like the very tip of your trunk and at the tip you're here, you're going to increase. So do two single crochets in the same stitch. And to get back to your stitch marker, do two single crochets. And once again, you'll end up with seven single crochets. Begin your next round by increasing. So you're going to do three increases. And this is to start to curl the bottom part up. You'll see what I mean. So three increases. And then two decreases. And now you should have a total of eight single crochets. For your final round, you're going to decrease. Then do two increases. And you have four stitches left, and you're going to end by doing two decreases. And you should end with a total of seven single crochets. Now we're finally done with the hardest part of our elephant, the trunk. And feel free to cut your yarn. You don't need a super long tail, but you want it long enough to sew the hole closed. So just pull through and now you just want to stuff the rest of the trunk that we just did. So feel free to use your crochet hook to help you get that stuffing in there. There we go. Looks good. So to sew your hole at the bottom closed, grab your needle, thread it through the yarn, there we go, and now what you're going to do is grab the, so there's two parts of the V here, each stitch is like a V, that's how I like to think of it, and we're going to find our next stitch, so our next stitch would have been there and you're going to grab only the back part of the V, like that. Not both sections, just this section. I'm gonna pull it through. So I'm gonna count, that's one. I need to do this seven times since there's seven stitches. I'm gonna go under the back part. Continue this all the way around. So I've just done it, and now I'm going to pull closed. Pull tight, tight, tight. Sort of hard. But you can see that now there's no hole. And I'm just going to poke through the middle. Pull it as tight as you possibly can. Poke through the middle. and poke out really anywhere in your in your trunk come on go through there we go there's a spot so i poked through and you can see just make sure it still looks nice at the bottom there we go and 
Now you can poke through one more time if you wish, and then you can cut your yarn. So these are the pieces you should have so far, your body, your head, and your four legs. But while we're on a roll with crocheting, we might as well make these ears before we assemble things. So to make the ear, begin with the magic ring once again. And then you're going to do six single crochets inside the ring. For round two, you're going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. For round three, you're going to increase, it's a pattern, so increase in your first stitch. Feel free to use a stitch marker if you wish. Increase, and then in your second stitch, you're going to do one single crochet, then repeat that. Increasing and then single crochet for a total of 18 single crochets. Now your final round of your ear is a fun one. So make sure you, you use a stitch marker for this one. So begin with a single crochet, then put your stitch marker in that stitch, then do a half double crochet. So wrap around and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then in your next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. So wrap around, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. You're going to do another double crochet in your next stitch. Then in your next seven stitches, you're going to do two triple crochets in each stitch. So wrap around twice, poke in to your V and pull through two loops pull through two loops, and then pull through your final two loops. Now let's do another triple crochet in that same stitch. Okay, we're done one of seven. Okay, so you have six more to go. Now to end your ear, you're going to do two double crochets. and then a half double crochet. And a single crochet to end. Now, I, I have three single crochets left over, you can see, before my stitch marker, and that's totally fine. That's how it should be. So that you have an edge to sew onto your head, like so. Now for the ear, you want one ear, you want to cut a really long tail, and that will be to sew your, well, first of all, to sew the ear onto the head, but then to sew the head onto the body. So one ear, do a super long tail, and the other ear, just do a regular long tail, just to sew one ear onto the head, and one ear onto the head, and onto the body. Now I've cut a long tail, super long. Now to finish off this ear, all I'm going to do is sew in this tail at the end. So to do that, this is the back of my ear, so I'm just going to work through a couple pieces under a couple stitches. So maybe there, and then under there, it won't really come undone, but just in case. Maybe under one more, and that should be good. And now I can go ahead and pull tight and snip my yarn. Now to make your elephant tail, the last piece you'll need of your gray wool, all you have to do is chain 10 and then do nine single crochets down. So, or not single crochets, slip stitches. So don't wrap around. So go under, 
pull through, don't wrap around and pull through, just pull through your stitch. And nine will get you back to the beginning. Now I've just cut my yarn here, that's what my tail looks like. And all I'm gonna do is wrap around and pull through. Pull through your loop. And my tail is complete. 